Good afternoon, Sonny Dosange, co-founder, CEO of Dosange USA, nicknamed the USA. Glad to make your acquaintance, and I'm going to touch upon something real quick that we call invisible wounds. I'm going to focus on the use case of advancing healthcare. What we've built is called the Intelligent Cloud Service. So the healthcare use case is you go to a doctor, a nurse, a therapist, and they only see your physical wounds. But there are invisible wounds that I've uh, identified here as traumatic brain injury, PTSD, bereavement, and something specific to veterans, which we call moral or soul injury. The first two could be for anybody, children, elderly, they could be you know, witnessing a car crash, things of that nature that are uh, post-traumatic. The real story is the invisible wounds is what the patient is not sharing with the clinician. But now we have these emerging technologies, these IoT sensors, which you can embed, wear, have as meshes or as overlays of what some of the things that you've seen earlier today. What we're doing is working with them to identify, authenticate, and connect that data into an intelligent cloud service. So our background and experience is building large-scale data centers, uh, cloud services with security, with a stream capability, and we have multiple inputs. So pick your application, pick your multi-service cloud, pick your distributed architecture. Now you can map it to a regulation like GDPR in Europe, and you can process, protect, and certify that data. The output, we are working with teams in USC and Stanford with convolutional neural networks to build virtual reality, augmented reality, and mixed reality components of how you can visualize that data. So we work with teams, we work with partners, we can analyze that data using AI tools, and then we can provide a better case of treating that patient. Our core piece, though, is the ICS, the Intelligent Cloud Service, and that is where we can then obviously have our intellectual property, process that data, and then do other, what I would say, transformation so that you can view it on an endpoint, tablet, phone, or other digital sign or interactive medium. So my last slide is we are accelerating this for invisible wounds, but I can also flip this to autonomous vehicles, telecommunication companies, financial industries, but I'm dealing with the very first use case. And as you can see in America, 75 years and older, they have the highest related deaths with TBI. Children, we're identifying what causes trauma, school bullying, and other things that happen in public environments. And this summer, as part of the US Air Force many years ago, they're now introducing TBI and how invisible wounds can be treated. So with that, thank you very much for your time and attention. Great. Let's hear from the judges. Uh, you have an uh, int intro about your team in addition to you, or are you the only one? I do have a website. You can go to DesangeUSA.com, and that's where you have the background, who we work with, who we partner, demos, and what we're doing in the community. Uh, with different hospitals, things like that. I, it wasn't enough time here Got you. Uh, okay. in three minutes. Okay, so uh, another thing is like uh, your, uh, can you share with us your sales numbers or financial numbers right Great now? Great question. We're early stage, so we're still in product development phase. We can do prototypes and demos. That's what we're working with clinicians. And so we're looking to raise the initial rounds. A lot of it is self-funded. And so that's the stage that we're currently at. And how much are you looking for right now? We're looking for two and a half to three million for the initial. Uh, I have a question here. Yes. Uh, what, what is your uh, immediate top challenge to develop your company, and how are you planning to target? You know, uh, the need is there. The number one challenge is finding the right partners so we have the right APIs that we can then introduce that data and then make sure it's visible in near real time. Partners like NVIDIA, where we use their GPU. Partners like the right sensor. If you look at Elon Musk's Neuralink, making sure that those products are ready so we can then actually obtain that data. You know, there's a lot of them are still in ideation phase or early prototype. So we're really in a kind of a alignment phase, not only with the source of the input and then the output companies. What can Apple and other like Google and other device manufacturers actually display at the endpoint? So that's where we're, that's the challenge of working with both of those sources. Just uh, if, if I had to summarize what I think you're doing, uh, you're using sensors of all kinds. Some are biometrics, some That's are right. motion sensors, 
um, any observable kind of sensor. I don't know if any penetrate, but um, you know, some I'm, I'm sure are airborne chemical sensors right. off the skin or air um, or incoming air, uh, you know, predictions. Is that how you're? And you're, so you're basically dependent on your sensor network and then your intelligence on how to process and make sense out of it, and then you map it to conditions, basically. That, that is correct. Okay. That is correct. It's, it's really the aggregation of all those sensor endpoints, right. and then we add that cybersecurity layer, especially right. with what you see with data protection, right. um, with veterans like myself, and if we go to a public hospital, that data has to be protected. So that analysis and remediation, and that's where that certification comes in.